Okay, this is uh, for Foolish Productions and food. This little area right here, uh, about a week ago, I made a video for you and my camera got so wet the film didn't turn out right. Uh, but this is something that I've dedicated to Foolish Productions, a little meditation uh, field. So I call this Foo's Garden. So let's go uh, take a look at the, uh, the great aspects of Foo's Garden and, uh, and talk to Foo. And one of the features of the Foo Garden is there is a uh, geocaching cap on that tree. Let's see if Irma can find it. You found something? Yeah. Somewhere on that tree is uh, a geocaching uh, cap. Hey, it looks like it says Viking Chicks. Viking Chicken? Viking, Viking Chicken. Viking Chick 92. There's four puppies. Did you sign it when uh -uh. you were here? No, it was pouring down rain when I was I can't here. believe I found it so quickly. Yeah, you're natural. Look at how many people have been here. Spider Lady Sky. Spider Monkey 5. Spider Monkey. I wonder how, when's the first one? How long has it been here? Here's the cat. That's what that looks like. So that's one interesting feature, and then I'll show you another one in just a moment. So then you walk through the middle, the middle which is kind of, a, this actually used to be a place where a lot of people would camp. Irma's going to climb that tree. Part of it's already broken off. I can't watch. So you walk through the middle of uh, the Foo Garden, and uh, this way. And you come to the Fu Meditation Garden. And very briefly, uh, I wanted to talk to Fu uh, about, to you, Fu, about uh, depression. I haven't done a video in a couple days. I normally crank them out like crazy, and lately I haven't been able to. Um, because I've been depressed. And what it's about, it's kind of like depression or anger to me always seems to come down to the same thing in that there is a lack of control in my life, like something or someone controls some aspect of my life and uh, they're making it unpleasant for me even after I tell them uh, that it's unpleasant and I want them to stop. And in this case, uh, it's my work. Uh, I've often mentioned that I work too much. Um, you know, there'll, there'll be like stretches of days. There's like a stretch of 20 days where I had one day off. Um, I was 19 days. Um, and now I just found out uh, that I'm not going to have any uh, any weekends. My hours are going to be reduced. Uh, I'm no longer getting two days off in a row. And um, and the only way to get weekends uh, will be to uh, request them in advance, uh, use up uh, personal days, use up vacation days, uh, things like that. So it seems like that decreases the value of my vacations, it decreases uh, the value of my free time, um, and it depresses me. And when I, the value of being depressed, uh, like Fred was talking about uh, why is bad good uh, today, which I quite liked. Um, the value of being depressed is like my my mind. God, I wake up in the morning and it just feels like there's someone's gripping my head. I don't wake up relaxed and happy. I wake up analytical and focused and let's solve this problem. And especially if the problem is it can't be solved until next year, um, you know. Anyway, so I woke up focused on new solutions to this problem. 
uh, how I could work with other employees about switching schedules, um, how I could, uh, I could try to apply for a different position, I could quit my job and go work somewhere else. Um, you know, solutions from the, the more subtle to the, the extreme. Uh, to me, that's what depression says. Uh, I'm, I'm bummed out, and all I could think to do, like, I don't, like, all I could think to do is fix the problem. That's the only thing that seems like it's going to be to make me happy. Um, and, uh, which is actually, I kind of want to talk, I'll talk about this later, but I kind of wanted to talk about the, why the tiny house, to me, has been a, uh, a solution for depression. Um, but I'll save that for another time. But now I just wanted to share this with you, Foo. Uh, tell you a little bit about what's going on in my head uh, as far as depression goes and uh, show you this great, great spot. I hope you like it. All right, buddy. Peace out.